Hi Kindergarten, for our English Language Arts Printable, we are going to be continuing to do work with Silent E. Now Silent E is so important because it makes the vowels say your name. And when I'm thinking about a vowel saying its name, I'm thinking not just of its short sound, a, e, i, a, o, or u. I'm not just thinking about those sounds, I'm thinking about its long sounds. A, E, I, O, and U. It really does say its name. So let's begin. Na, I, N. I'm going to hold it the right way. Qua, E, N. Two E's for that one. Oh, this one doesn't have one. Ka, A, Ta. Sh. A ka er a ka ch e er two e's ka u ba sha e pa two e's fa i fa cha e ka two e's wa a ba er o so when you hear, right, E in, is the vowel in the word, you'll put two E's. Rather than putting one at the end, you'll put two E's. But if you hear that you have your a different vowel in the word, you'll put silent E at the end. So let me give you an example. So nine is going to be my first example. I hear I as my vowel. No. I mm. no, I have to write my silent e. But for example, if I was doing the the work with sheep number eight, I'll write it right here. Shh, that's a diagraph. E. It's not just one e then; it's two e's. Sha e pa. See the difference? This one, silent E is at the end. This one, silent E is next to it. Because it follows that rule of when two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking. Mm. Such great growing your brains, kindergarten. Can't wait to see all you know about silent E on Seesaw.